Hey, how you doing? This is Mr. Clifford with ACDC Econ, Key Econ Concepts in 60 Seconds. Today we're going to talk about something called the Law of Diminishing Marginal Returns. Now in a few units, your teacher's going to talk about a few days, your teacher's going to talk about cost curves and the additional cost for each additional output and stuff like that. Before we jump into it, we have to talk about the relationship between inputs and outputs. As you hire more worker, the workers, the additional output that goes with those workers. So take a look, we've got a chart right here. Before we start the clock, let's take, make sure we understand what we're looking at. You decide to start your own company mowing lawns, all right? And you have, let's say, two lawnmowers, right? You've got two of them and that's all you got. You hire no workers, you're gonna get no output, right? This is total product. Now let's say this is the output for a Saturday. So one worker, which is you, you can mow two lawns on, on any given Saturday. Two workers can do seven, three workers 10 and down the line, okay? You're gonna find out something called the law of diminishing marginal returns. You're gonna find out about it in 60 seconds. The first thing you have to calculate is something called marginal product. Marginal is additional, so the additional output for each additional input. The first one's dash right here. When I hire this first worker, total product went from zero to two. So the marginal product of that worker is two. When I hire a second worker, well, together they could make seven, but the additional output added by that additional worker is five. This next one added an additional worker. Next output is an additional three. This one went up by two. This one went up by one. This one up went up by zero. The next one, it actually went down. And there's a reason for this, okay? This concept right in front of you is the law of diminishing marginal return. As you add additional workers and you add it to fixed resources, two on more, and that's it. That's all you got. You add another worker, well, take a look. These first workers, one adds two, next one adds an additional five. That's because they can specialize, right? Two workers together can do mow more lawns because they can specialize. One's taking the lawnmowers out of the truck, the other one's taking the leaves off the yard, and then when they work together, they can go from two to seven. But the law says as you add more inputs, the additional output eventually is start to fall. That's the concept. Good, now it's time for the bonus round. First thing I want to show you is the idea that there's three stages of returns. You can see it went from two to five. That's actually the first stage right there. And then three down past zero is the second stage. And then the third stage is here. Here's the concept, take a look. Increasing marginal returns, decreasing marginal returns, negative marginal returns. Here's the concept, pay attention on the graph. I'm gonna plot this out. This is workers down here, this is total output. So let's go ahead. When I hire no workers, I get no output. When I hire one worker, I'm gonna get two, which is right here. Two workers is gonna be seven, let's call that here. Three workers is gonna be 10. Four workers is going to be 12. Five workers is going to be 13. Another worker adds an additional 13 or additional zero, right? It went from 13 to zero. That guy added nothing. Now back up. Here's what you're thinking. That guy must be a moron, right? It's his fault. He added additional nothing. He must be lazy. He's sitting there doing nothing. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with fixed resources. This next one, this one's interesting. You hire the seventh worker, total product went down. It went down to 10. So if you plot these, take a look, watch this. This is total product curve. It goes up and eventually it starts going down. And the reason it does, it has everything to do with this marginal product curve. I'm going to plot these ones. One worker is going to make an additional two. Two workers are going to make an additional five. Three workers are going to do an additional three. Four workers an additional two. Five worker, a fifth worker an additional one. Six worker is going to be zero. And then right here, seventh worker an additional three down here. The marginal product curve looks something like this. Marginal product. Here's the concept. You can see it right here. You see these three lines, those three stages? They're right here on the graph. Good, here's stage one, right? And here is stage two, there's stage three. So stage one, good. Total product is increasing at an increasing rate. Right, total product's going up, but it's going up by more and more. Check it out, look at the numbers. Right? It went up, it went up by two, then it went to seven, and it's going up by an increasing amount. The reason why they should write this down is because of specialization. Each worker can make more output than the previous worker. Right here, this is called stage two. Good, we said stage two is called decreasing or diminishing marginal returns. So total product is still going up, but it's going up at a decreasing rate. All right, total product going up, and it's going up by less and less and less and less each time. The numbers prove it. It went up by two, it went up by one, and it went up by zero. And the reason why, not because of specialization, this one's because of fixed resources. You only have so many resources, and as you add additional workers to those resources, the additional output eventually is going to fall. This last round of stage is called stage three. 
one, two, three, and this one total product is actually falling. The reason why our workers are in the way. Good. In this situation, now your workers are in each other's way. They're trying to mow the lawns, but they're, they're, they're hitting each other, right? There's not enough room on the truck, right, for them to all be sitting and stuff like that. Now they're in each other's way. That's the concept. Great. Three stages return, one, two, three. The next step is to put it all together and talk about costs, but not yet. Till then. See you next time.